What kind of bug does his face remind you of? It looks kind of like a dragonfly to me. I would like to thank both Rebellious Wolf and Spartan4493 for uh, graciously donating this figure. They both had actually sent me an all of security like within one week of each other and I hadn't done a review yet. So I want to say thank you to both of them. I've included links to the channels down below. So you guys, hopefully you can go check them out and see what they do. They each, you know, got their own thing going and stuff. But yes, thank you to both of them for donating this figure and I really do appreciate it. So now let's get into the review. Hey guys, welcome to another Halo 3 action figure review. I'm Rich, your host, and uh, we're gonna have some fun, or not. Anyway. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Series 4 All of Security Multiplayer Spartan. Now he was from the Equipment Edition and uh, he came with the Radar Jammer, which is the red ball which like irritated a lot of gamers <laughs> on Halo 3 because when you activated this it just basically uh, represented that there was a ton of enemies nearby. So it kind of made it hard to find people using just your radar, but there was ways around it and everything. Anyway. The, uh, the sculpting of this is actually pretty well done. You can, there's a lot of detail here. And something really cool is that you can actually activate it, you know, open it up. I like that the McFarlane included that because it would have just not been the same, you know, if it wasn't totally accurate like it is. But yeah, anyway, that's pretty cool. Roll it away. There it goes, knocking on the camera. Anyway, this figure is pretty well done. I really do like it uh, as far as securities go. Security is not my favorite armor, sadly to say. Uh, it's not that I don't like security armor because I like the armor pads. Generally, I'm one of the type of people who like uh, the option to be heavily armored. And with the security, you had you know the shoulder pads being really beefy, really protective of who, the wearer. But then the helmet. I don't care for this helmet at all. It really looks a lot like like a police, you know, like the, the police glasses, those really huge glasses that they wear. And it looks kind of like that, and then it got fused together, and then it just stuck to his helmet. That's what it kind of reminds me of. That or a dragonfly's face. Yeah. So, that's pretty much... <laughs> so I'm not a big fan of the helmet, and then he's bald on top of it and everything. It's just like, no, it's uh, no, it's not my favorite. I really do like this here in the back, which is not removable. It's built into the uh, back, but it's like a little antenna piece. Now, this is exclusive only to the security figures, or the security Spartans, even. So... You weren't able to just get it, you know what I mean? So it was cool that they had that on the figure and everything. This figure comes with not only the radar jammer, but he also comes with two maulers, which the maulers are a pretty rare weapon. Not a lot of figures have it, and that might be kind of good because uh, the maulers, they do fit in the right hand. As far as if you have a standard trigger hand, very easily, great, awesome. As far as in the left hand, uh, they fit, but not so much. And then, uh, like the brutes who actually, you know, get the maulers in the games, can hold the maulers, but only with, like... Is it two fingers? And they only have three, not counting the thumb. So, you know, anyway, the there is no peg holes in the maulers at all, so you cannot attach it. This figure, uh, so it didn't come with any pegs, but he does have a right thigh peg hole and a back peg hole, and he also has the two uh, belt peg holes, or the butt pegs, holes, stuff. The articulation, standard for all other Spartans, and stuff like that. Yeah, so that's pretty much the review. The armor is removable. I do like the paint job. I think they did a good wash over this figure, which was good. Uh, back in Series 4, I thought they did a pretty good job assembling these guys. There wasn't really any major problems like with Series 6, so this was uh, a pretty well put together figure and everything like that, and it's pretty cool. And I know a lot of people like security, so if you're interested in security, this is a pretty good figure, and it does come with some uh, rare-ish weapons, you know, rare kind of kind of rare weapons and stuff. Anyway, I would like to thank... Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And if uh, you guys ever send a figure that I have not reviewed yet and I do a review, I will do a shout out for you in that video and I'll include the uh, link to your channel as long as I know what your channel is down below. So thank you guys very much for watching again. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and stuff. And, uh, hmm, yeah, I guess uh, Doll of Security and I are going to go watch a cop movie or something. I don't know. I feel like doing something cliche like that. So, anyway. See you guys.